Hopkins. It's you, the hero of Gavot. <laughs> this is truly an honor. See, everybody, it's an honor to meet me. I'm sorry, sir. Hello my lords and ladies, I'm Pitch Dark, and welcome back to another episode of the Legacy of Oshiva. So, we are with our new Emperor, Martin. Well, he's he's not technically our Emperor yet, but, um, you know, he will be. He is now wearing the Amulet of Kings. Thank you to Voshiva over here. So, we're going to now head back to the Imperial City to go to the um, Chamber of the Council, or Council of something. Um, Elder Council Chambers. I was close. Are you ready, sir? All right, let's go. Uh, I'm wondering if... Oh, I can level up. But I'm wondering if I need to... Repair anything before we go. I mean, everything's looking pretty good. I mean, the Sword of Shock and R is pretty weak. And, well, let's, let's see what happens here. Maybe we can go to Bruma real fast and do that. I don't think I picked up a lot of stuff, so I had to pick up a sword and everything. Um, so are you going to follow me? Or do I have to talk to you? No, we're gonna, you're going to follow me. Okay. Do you have a horse, sir? Let me heal myself a little bit. Where are you going? Maybe. Is he getting his horse? I didn't even know there were stables in here. What? Can I... Could I ride you this whole time? It's not stealing. Huh. Well, I got Patches 3. I love Patches 3. Reminds me of Patches 1 and 2. So I'm going to ride Patches 3. 3.0. Well, it's good he has a horse, because I would have feel funny that the Emperor's running behind me. Look at the birds. So it's nighttime, huh? Is it nighttime, or is it just that it's so rainy out? It's nighttime. Maybe we should get a room at the inn in, in Bruma. I mean... Separate rooms, of course. I don't know what you think there, sir, but... Um... I thinking, I think I'm going the wrong way and ready to go off a cliff. There we go. That'll teach you to follow me. You haven't heard about me, have you? <laughs> I tend to go the wrong way, sir. Okay, welcome back. So we did um, sleep in Bruma. We spent the night there and I did sell some stuff and repaired my stuff. So we are now going to head back to the Imperial City. Um, I think I am going the right way. Yes, I am. So we're going to ride there and when, um, when and if something happens, I'll just cut back. Okay, welcome back. So the, the ride was pretty uneventful, so, um, nothing to really show. <laughs> so we are now crossing the bridge to the Imperial City and, um, we'll be talking to the council really soon. Okay, so we had an unfortunate crash, so I had to reload the game. So hopefully it doesn't Hello. crash this time. Haven't had a crash uh, in a while, so... Hoping it's nothing... Um, serious? <laughs> it's kind of strange. Alright, no, everything... It just seems like it's stuttering a little bit, but... All right, made it made it further than last time. That's good. All right, we'll have to leave our horses here, sir. Just watch out for this one. She likes to eat horses. I think you're gonna get off here. Okay. You don't have to. I mean, you can ride your horse all the way to. Hey, you're you're the emperor. You do what you want. 
I'm not gonna argue. It's it's you, the hero of Gavot. <laughs> this is truly an honor. See, everybody is an honor to meet me. I'm sorry, sir. It'll be it'll be an honor for them, sir. Not to worry. I am pretty awesome, though. Hence why I have the Sword of Awesome. Imperial Palace. Hail. Oh, no hail. Okay. Is he supposed to be with me? Taking your time, are you? <laughs> no, he's the emperor. I'm not gonna rush him, I guess. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Thank you. We have arrived in the Elder's Council Chamber. I must formally present Martin's claim to the Councillor Akato, the head of the Elder Council. Been oh. expecting you. Peace. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Okay. Martin Septim, oh. on behalf of the Elder Council. I accept Chancellor your claim to the Imperial throne. Chancellor O'Connor! We should arrange... Well, Chancellor O'Connor. That was rude. The city is under attack. Okay, not rude. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. Oh, no. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Yes. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. So the Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city. And danger are pouring out. I must res escort Martin safely to the Temple of the One where he can light the dragon fires. Close the Oblivion gates and save the city. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Okay. Um, where are we going? Oh. Glowy, glowy. Martin go. I am getting my butt kicked. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, my God. Thank you for the help. What are your orders? I need to get to the Temple of the One. It's our only chance to stop Merun's Dagon. Yes, sir. Let's move out. Yes, let's move out. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked in here. What do you think? <laughs> Mayrun's oh, Dagon okay. knows that if I can reach the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires, he has lost. Come on! Okay. Well, you're just kind of standing there to know you know. No. Oh. Okay. Oh! Are you fighting with the... You're just fighting with a dagger? Really? Where's 
Martin. Anybody see Martin? Oh, there he is. Uh, look at this guy. Ow! Ow! Oh! Meru's Dagon is here. The barrier between Oblivion and Temur has been destroyed. Our only hope is to somehow defeat Meru's Dagon and cast him back to Oblivion. Perhaps Martin will know what to do. We're too late. Oh, no. Meru's Dagon is here. Okay. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from Oblivion are gone. Are gone. Okay. Uh, can we cast him back to Oblivion? I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him. But now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. Okay. Uh, what about the Amulet of Kings? Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea. One last okay. hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. That's where I was trying to get you. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. All right, you. I have to get past Meru's Dagon somehow. Okay, I'll get you there. Then I'll do the rest. Um, lead on, okay. my friend. Oh, um, follow me. I'm with you. Uh, let's see. Can I use a? <laughs> I mean, sneaky. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> that gets me by. I didn't think that would work. Martin and I are inside the Temple of the One. I must get Martin to the, the Dragon Fires, or all hope is lost. Alright, where is the Dragon Fires? Oh. I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. What do you mean? Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, no. Get a Martin. Oh, a mighty blow. is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended, and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things, now, belong to you. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! See this giant dragon statue right here? What do you mean, gone? 
We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes, he shattered the amulet. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. Did you get your eyes checked? Uh, and Martin's blood too. Then Martin is gone. But the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Yay. Martin is dead, yeah. but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. And what about the Empire? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! Um... Champion of Cerna? In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil! Yay! All right, Voshiba. And as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Awesome. Just now you did that? All right. Um, Elder Council. We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest, I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, troubled times lie ahead. Oh, I'm certain of that. Imperial Dragon Armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. Why, thank you. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. I'm available. <laughs> you have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights founded by Tiber Septim himself. It is a high honor. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. Very cool. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Well. This is a bittersweet victory for sure. Can I get in there? Can't get in there, can I? I can. So. Martin. Yeah, that's kind of a bad angle for him. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, she's mad. She's not very happy with this whole thing. Um, you know, Martin had to sacrifice himself to save the world. But now Voshiver is champion of Cyrodiil, and uh, who knows what further adventures awaits. Um, the land is free of Oblivion Gates, and the people can now probably sleep a little bit better because of Voshiva and the sacrifice Martin has 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 done. I mean, he basically sacrificed his life for everybody. So with that, that ends, unfortunately, ends season one. So I do hope you like these episodes. Let me know uh, if you'd like to see season two. You're going to see it anyways. I'm just throwing it out there. It's going to happen. So whether you like it or not, it's too bad. <laughs> I do thank you for watching. And please remember, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time.